17 is upon us and the Bengals go into their rematch with the Baltimore Ravens on a two game win streak. The defense actually played pretty well the first time around. Yes, the Ravens scored 27 points, but seven of those points were scored by the Ravens defense as they returned a fumble for a touchdown and a Joe Burrow interception actually gave them a short field that set up one of their other touchdowns. Now, in that situation, the Bengals defense definitely needed to step up, buckle down, and at least force a field goal. But all in all, the Ravens only had one long, sustained drive that led to a touchdown. The Bengals defense held a dinged Lamar Jackson to just three yards rushing and 180 yards passing. He also had a completion percentage that was just over 50%. In total, the Ravens ran for 161 yards in the game, 42 of which came on a reverse to Devin DuVernay on the first drive. So how did they do it? They did it by playing excellent assignment football. Now this Bengals team usually runs a five-man front when they're trying to stop the run, but that was not the case here. They actually came out in a 4-3 defense against the Ravens with rookie linebacker Akeem Davis Gaither making his first career start. And this put them in a great position. This gave them more speed on the field than they would have in their five-man defensive front, but they were still strong against the run because they had the extra linebacker instead of the nickel. This play is actually a great example of assignment football. You see the linebackers flowing, everybody getting where they need to be, but Davis Gaither kind of falls off the tackle. So it's a good thing everybody else is doing their job. And you see the safeties coming down. They're both in position to make this play, but it goes to Von Bell because that's the direction the running back came off of the attempted tackle. I mentioned the reverse to Duvernay earlier. That play set up the Ravens in a scoring position on their first drive, but the Bengals defense really clamped down from there. So we're gonna take a look at the three play stand that held the Ravens to a field goal on that drive. First, the Ravens went to the air. The Bengals knew they wanted to get the ball to Mark Andrews and to Marquise Brown. So as Andrews goes to the out, Bates gets on that route fast and Bell picks up Marquise Brown going vertically. Next, Sam Hubbard stays wide, forces Lamar Jackson to hand the ball off and Jermaine Pratt comes off the block and makes a great tackle. That sets up third and seven. So on third and long, Bates makes a great play, he reads the quarterback and he jumps the route, and he makes a play in the ball. The Bengals defense was impressive against the Ravens the last time around. It's gonna be interesting to see how the Ravens adjust offensively, now that they know what the Bengals want to do to stop them, and how Bengals defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo will counter those adjustments. Red seven, hot route. 